Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames, and welcome to another video. In this video, we will install Bark, which is a text-to-speech model that can create realistic voices with intonation, pause, cadence, just like a real voice with emotion. In this video, we will install the Bark TTS extension, which is an extension for whoever to use Bark and create the voices with Notebook. So we will install an extra step here with the notebook to train your own voices. If you follow this video, you will be able to install any other bug repo and use it like outside Ubabuga. If you don't have Ubabuga, you can still follow the video and do almost the same steps. By the end of the video, you can generate images with voices like this. Who would you like to do more SD prompts? You just input a subject followed by a location or action and I will build a prompt for you. Now we can use emphasis weights. I will link everything in the description, including the text web UI. If you are not using Ubabuga, you can use the text web UI or you can use the notebooks like I show on the video. If you don't have Ubabuga, but you still want to see how it works, you can come into this hugging face in space called Suno Bark. It's made by Suno, the people who made Bark. And you can just type here something in the input box to transcribe into audio. I put something in Spanish because it can do many languages. You can select the voice here and select the language. And you can input some of these tags here. You can make it laugh, be angry, clear his throat, or make it a woman, not a man, with this tag. So now here I put something like this music symbols to make it sing. And this is the result. Vamos a la playa. Vamos de paseo. Es mi bolita. Y tu cuerpo es de deseo. So here are the links that we are going to use. This is the main Bark repo. We are going to use this one for the web UI outside Ubabuga. You can use this link. This is a link for the extension. We will be using this in a minute. And we will be using these notebooks to train or custom voice. Then we have here my link. You can come here and get like my character that I'm going to use later. And to clean our training voice, we can use Adobe Enhance and Whisper to transcribe the audio. So these are all the links. Okay, so now let's begin with the installation process. And we are going to navigate to Ubabuga Windows folder. And we are going to go here, right click. I run it as administrator, but you can run it normally. You can use either that CMD Windows.bat if you have a recent installation of the one click installer. Or if you have the old one, you can use Micromamba cmd.bat. That will put you into the environment for Ubabuga. And in here, we are just going to come here and open this, open these lines, and we will install the script for the extension. So with these lines here, we'll copy the links for the extension and the requirements. And it will take a little while, so I'll come back when that is done. Okay, it says that I had some issue there with the incompatibility with the Torque 2, but it doesn't matter because I know that this will work anyway. It's something that I installed that has a newer Torque installation. Anyway, you shouldn't have this error, but if you have it, it doesn't matter because Park will work anyway. The next thing is to bring the installed Jupyter Notebook, so I'm going to copy these two lines and because I am still in the Python environment for Ubabuga, I can just do these lines here and it will install Jupyter and I will pause and come back to install Notebook. So now the Jupyter and Notebook are installed. The next thing will be going into the website for the training Notebooks. So Bark with Voice Clone. We are going into this Bark with Voice Clone and we are going to download it into our downloads. So just download zip and then show in folder. We are going to unzip it here. And from here, we just need the notebooks, which are this one and this example. Copy. And we are going to go back into our text generation web UI inside the extensions in Bark TTS. And we are just going to copy it here in our new folder for Bark TS. Since we are here still in the environment, we can launch Notebook from here. So I'm going to copy these lines. I just need to copy this line because we are already on extensions. I can copy Jupyter Notebook dot slash Bark TTS clone voice IPVN. 
and I'm gonna paste it here and that should open a web browser with this notebook open. And as you can see, now we have the notebook open here and we can work on cloning our voice. So to clone our voice, I already download a piece of a podcast. I edit it with Audacity and then I upload it into the Adobe Enhance, like I show you here. Enhance, I clean the audio for because it had some background noise and it gave us a bit of more audio, a better audio. So I'm going to put it here on, on Jack's Whisper. My audio that I fixed is here on, on my WAVs files. It's called and woman speaker and i'm just going to go into the hogging face whisper jacks choose audio file and this is how it sounds that noodle town was built on a flat plain seen from a distance it really did look like a pile of spaghetti but as you approached and it became larger and larger so it's not perfect they still have some sound in the background but it, it works so let's submit this and it will give us a translation of our file. At the moment it fails because they removed the 100 that was catered in this space, but I was able to do it yesterday. I saved the transcription in a file. If you want to do a transcription, you can just use the extension, the whisper extension inside Ubabuga, and that will be enough. For now, I'm just gonna keep on. Okay, now that the notebook is open, we can start by playing the cells. And to play the cells, you just press these black arrow buttons here. And we are going to bring our WAP file that I prepared. Okay, so it's basically an 8 second file. You need to keep it between 5 and 10 seconds. And what we are going to do is copy the name here. I have the address of the file inside. So this address. I wrote it before and I'm gonna replace it here and I'm just going to run this file and that passed and now I can run this one and in this one I'm gonna bring the transcription that I had from Whisper and I just copy my transcription here make sure that it's well written okay that one passed too And this one takes a little longer because it's processing the file. Just need to wait a little bit for the training to finish. And now it's copying the file. Okay, now our training has finished and this one will pass the, will move the code to the CPU. And in this, we need to put our place where we want to save our file. And I have it written here. This is the place where I want to save. I just need to write the name like N for English and then underscore and then the custom name that you want and finish with the speaker okay so if it was this spanish you will put es mujer speaker and you leave out the mp set because it will it will concatenate it here with the voice name and the address where you are in the file that is bark tts slash voices so it's gonna be safe on the voices folder you just press here and it should run and now we have our file it should be on the voices folder inside extensions bar tts voices and it's here or custom voice we're gonna try in a minute inside booga booga if you want to play uh, if you want to use the the same notebook to, to create voices, you can. Okay, now in the launcher, you need to add this extension Bark TTS. You need to add this line to be able to run Bark TTS. And if you can see here, this is my whole setup. I will use auto devices, chat, stream, 
you also need chat and no stream and stp attention if if, if you have a nvidia card with talk to you can use stp attention to accelerate your your inference and here listen and listen port 7861 is for communicating with stable diffusion so i have api also i enable api and i listen port 7861 for communicating with stable diffusion you can use uh, listen if you want to use it in your in in a mobile phone or or, or another device in your network, you can use listen to be able to connect to your Uga So now we are going to run this uh, if if file. We'll open this and I'm just gonna write if and that will launch that file that has the settings. Okay, so here we are in Ubabuga and I have my character loaded, the character for making SD prompts. Who would you like to do more SD prompts? You just input a subject followed by a location or action and I will build a prompt for you. Now we can use emphasis weights. And this is the audio produced by the script, by the Bark TTS script using our trained, our trained voice. And I can just make a new, I can just make a new thing here. Maybe yeah, a dark elf empress 1.6 on an enchanted forest. So I can come in here. I can come in here into my SD API. This is a modified version of the SD API where you can select the model that you want to use. Like I can connect here. You can be on, on another computer in another network and you can access all your models or your... I made a video about this, that you can access all the settings. Not all the settings, but the settings that you need for working with stable diffusion. And here I can select like all the samplers that I got installed in this computer. I'm coming here, select also the upscaler. I can use high res fix, I can use restore faces, I can select the change how big I want the picture, the denoise, or maybe even the, the resolution of the picture here, the initial resolution. And I can apply this model and it will change here in the in a stable diffusion. Right now, I think it's it. I was selecting Rev Animated. Okay, so I have here my my prompt, and I can make my I can generate it. I'm gonna press Force the Picture Response, and then I'm gonna go in here and and just press Enter, and this will start generating my my text, my text to speech. And as I said, I'm using the bar TTS. I also modified this uh, this script because it wasn't taking my character. It wasn't producing uh, like if you see here, I don't have it, the sound. So I had to modify modify it a bit. And I just had um, just a few lines of of to eliminate some characters in the thing to pass it to an LTK because my character actually performed the, the text. It makes the each word separated by a comma and also adds like weights uh, with the parentheses. It adds emphasis and that kind of thing that you can say here. But you only need it for uh, characters like my characters. And you can get it from here in my, in my GitHub or I, I can put it in my coffee page, in my CV type page. So I have this CV type page where you can get the... I'm gonna put it in here or in my coffee page. So in here you can select like the temperature for the for the model. 
and now stable diffusion is making the picture here. Best quality, high resolution, fantastical. Mid shot, eye dark elf, Empress Elm point six, surrounded by a magical mist, sitting upon a throne of emeralds, wearing a crown of stars, weeds, and auras of mystery gaze. So, another thing is like voice of um, it's not working terribly well with the NLTK with, because what happened is that Barks is normally producing like 15 seconds of 14 or 15 seconds of. Uh, audio and this is using an LTK to concatenate the the audio and what it happens is like if some of the voices aren't really good to do this kind of thing and the developer said like N speaker 8 is the best for it works well with the concatenation of the tokens apparently it gets uh, confused with the tokens and start if it is too long it starts to go another place so let's try again with uh, this prompt and see we make a new a new picture what Best quality, high resolution, fantastical midshot, eight dark elf, impersonal point six key, billowing behind her, long dark hair determined stalking on the dwarf miners, cold hearted, cool gaze wearing elaborate armor dot helmet and wings, wreathed in a blue smoke, menacing, sinister, ominous, on eye level, dramatic, twinnel range masterpiece, Yoshitaka Amano, Donatello, Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast, Wayne Reynolds, Jeffrey Catherine Crane. And that one came perfect, actually, that audio came mm, very well. Yeah, so using the end speaker 8, um, it does long prompts without any problem. But my trained voice only can work like in 15 seconds or so. But I guess that there is a trick to make it, um, to make it last longer when you train it. Like maybe it has uh, some parameters that we have to tweak. I'm gonna research more to see what we can change to, to get a, a custom voice that does the long form audio. So here you have it, folks, that was the Bark TTS and how to use it with my character in the Uba Booga or how to use it with your own character. And please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.